scrap. Price one dollar. Well, hang on, she won't be paying a lot. I thought it was worth ten a piece. I know, but junk is worth ten a piece, not scrap. Did anyone notice how much that was? Do I have any advice for Kingdom Come Deliverance? You can't get into it. You're simply lost when you play it. Yeah, uh, just pick a quest at the start and just, just try and focus on that story. Uh, if you're lost on where to go and stuff, um, they, they should give you a clue, the early ones. Uh, you're lost on skills, uh, weapons and stuff like that. I mean, where have you got to in it and what point are you lost at? It's it's a really good game. It's worth it's worth persevering with. Uh, does does it? She have a price for? Uh, for I don't know what it was. I honestly don't know what that what I got for that junk. We're on twenty two oh four. I'm going to strip one more down. Field strip. I got six scrap. So I'm going to. Oh, it is just scrap. It's not junk I get, it's scrap, so that's gonna that's gonna, gonna get me nothing then, isn't it? Hello again, strangers. Uh, let's just see if this is the Certainly. case. Certainly. 2204. Yeah, okay. It's, it's, I'm better off selling the weapons. I don't particularly want the mods, so. I just make sure I don't sell the good ones. Uh, that's crap. The army revolver is. No, it's not out of date that one yet. The Hog Hunter is. That is. The Dental Pick. Is that what that is? Why am I not using that? That's better than what I've got equipped. Why am I not using that? I don't need those. I don't need... I don't need those. I don't want that one or that one anymore. Um, I probably don't need these pants, do I? Tactical armor legs plus three. Don't need those, that's for sure. The scout armor can go. Don't get much for that stuff. Can't use the rad tech armor. Might start following a quest. Probably load a save. Yeah, just um, just just take it one thing at a time, rather than trying to think. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do all the quests up here and try and look at all of them. Just follow one at a time, and then uh, and then move on to the next one. Even if they're side quests, just just go it through as if you think, right, that's that's my, that's Henry's job for the day, and just just enjoy it. Try a little bit of exploring, but be really careful running into bandits early on in the game because they are they are very tough compared to Henry's skills. You will get your ass well and truly kicked. So yeah, just watch out there. Okay, we'll come back to the rest of that stuff a little bit later, I think. I want to go and see a doctor. But yeah, I Some think. machine gun or assault rifle. Also, we've got I some leveling up to do here. Assault rifle. No hmm, question. this might change our opinions a bit. I should be checking this. Yeah, I thought that's what I'd picked up. I'd, right, I should be. I should have that equipped. Without a shadow of a doubt. That was off that mad dentist. Okay, so... You hear the stories about the guns sanctified with blood, blood sanctified by guns. Now who oh. are these beauties in my theater? In. Come, come to Adelon. That's one hairy chest. <laughs> these may be burn marks. This woman's shocking purple hair, <laughs> dark beast, and ridiculously voluptuous form make her stand out. From the average wasteland. She doesn't look particularly voluptuous in that outfit. She looks like she dropped in from a different time and place. Hey there, Eidolon. You look better every time I see you. Of course. How show business. Quan knows all. Oh, the women of ill repute in this game. Ah, Marshal Quan. As charming as ever. And you brought your most beautiful friends to Eidolon's Chick Slicks Theater, I see. Aren't you all a sight for sore eyes, honey lips? You show movies here? Movies? Oh no, sweetheart. We deal in real flesh and blood shows. I see. Ah, sugar plums. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, I'm so happy you walked into mine. You look like strapping, helpful hunks. 
Wouldn't you love to help out our little Adelon? Sure, with uh, a lot of flattery like that. Clearly not after anything. Uh, what can we do to help? Oh, my heroes. So here's the rub. The Chicks Flicks theater shows only the finest, most exclusive performances. But we are running low on material. I'd ask if you were volunteering to be my next star, but we all know I couldn't afford your gorgeous asses. Oh, I don't know. I'm cheap. I suppose the next best thing would be getting me some fresh material. We'll work for pizza. Uh, where do we get fresh material? I know where to find some old movie reels. We've got good tech in here. So between some creative editing and a little bit of improvisation, I can produce our next masterpiece. Okay, movie reels we can go and get. I thought she was going to get us to go and get some sex slaves to appear on the stage. We're in. So it's easy as a slice of apple pie. The monster army used to live in a pre-war luxury bunker. Apparently their monster outfits were inspired by the movies they watched in there. That wasn't just round the corner where we've been, was it? The bunker has been abandoned for years and years, so it should be simple. And hey, I know any resistance you meet won't be a problem for such beautiful and powerful people. Good luck out there, sweeties. Can we ask some questions? Anytime, gorgeous. <laughs> uh, can we talk about your performers? What's this operation you run? This is Chicks Flicks, where nothing is sacred and everything's for adaptation. We take the fantasies of pre-war films by adding some missing venereal elements. <laughs> the little extra sexy sauce leaves our customers extra satisfied. Yeah, I think I've heard enough. Um, but the performers... I don't know, I feel like there's some gossip to be had out of here. Talk about the performers. They're fantastic. Gorgeous people. Talented. Double-jointed. Incredibly flexible. Incredibly. Trust me, I sampled each of them myself. Where's Where's Smegly? This, this is Smegly sort of place. Someone go and find Smegly in chat. He's missing out. He always misses out on these bits. Okay, that's it. We're, we're going to get some porn films for them. Soon. Those asses are too beautiful to <laughs> stay gone. Uh, Ella Ripples, Officer Six, Gilded Look, Bert, ladies, Sarah Guns. Try not to pile on me all at once. And Paul what Ruby. What you're looking at here, ladies, is a man that can What's rock that your world. <laughs> Wild shows, great stories. All right, so which one of you endings. lovely chickens would love to go up right. here? Enough. Support buns. Enough noise. Maybe later. Talk to our guns sanctified with blood, blood sanctified by guns. Where are we going next? Open? Yeah, yeah, friends in Broadmoor. What's this place? We should visit sometime. We Says, have well, to oh. sign on with the caravan. No. You think it's safe? Quarex. Oh, is this a museum? Oh, wow. Are you rangers? I haven't seen any of you guys since I left, uh, I mean, in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen any rangers in a while. This guy's got some dark, mysterious secret. Are you here to fight the monsters under the bazaar? That would be awesome! You know, exploding pigs. Uh, I'm Quarex, by the way. This is my cool museum of, uh, coolness. Would you like a tour? Can we nick this stuff? Because that looks like a shiny rocket launcher. I'm going to regret asking. There is stuff to steal, look. Give us a tour. Really? Uh, okay. <laughs> this way. Sounds like uh, okay, nobody I'll start. ever says yes. Welcome to Quarex's cabinet of curiosities. Not really listening to be quite honest. A collection of the rarest of the... Well... It's a robot. Oh, okay, I can do this stuff. Kick the robot. The machine scissors forward at the blow. Sudden and savage, shoulders rolling. Somewhere in the circuitry of its brain, it probably still believes it has arms and blades. Hey, you functional? It clacks in reply. An even staccato noise, its head twitching like a clockwork bird that's forgotten the trick of realism. A hiss of black smoke unravels from the paneling of its throat. We could fix that if we had the skills, I think. This is a surfboard. 
I don't know what surf is and what boards have to do with it, but this look... I'm not interested in, the, in that. The spray case contains an energy weapon that's been fitted with a highly sophisticated pre-war scope. It looks masterfully crafted and carefully maintained. Steel. Lift the glass and take the weapon. You carefully lift the glass and take the weapon. <laughs> you sat through Quarix's entire museum tour. I got the achievement without having to do it. And I've just nicked the gun. Where's he gone? Oh, he's not looking? Display case. The last known copy of Wasteland 4. The cover is signed with the initials BF. Uh, for the man who fought for the little guy. It's a top hat. In memoriam. For the man who fought for the little guy. It's not a Total Biscuit reference, is it? Is it? Cynical Brit? I don't know. 20 seconds into meeting this man, Mark couldn't help his urge to steal things whilst... Yes, well, he was distracted telling people about stuff. We've got a VR device over here, look. Bulky, cumbersome conglomeration of thick wires and dented shapes. Put on the headset. The helmet doesn't fit quite right. It slopes and slouches across your face, putting the alignment of your nose at risk. Text starts scrolling across the darkness, banding your eyes. Select. Checkpoint Alpha. Camera moves along a road towards a military checkpoint. Camouflage figures stand with their backs to you. They turn to you, but their faces are cloaking in shadows. Their forms dissolve into polygons before the word rebooting flashes twice. Entrance. The display stutters and then moves, sluggishly at first. The camera pans across a large entrance carved into a mountainside. The tunnel is blanketed in complete darkness. After a few moments, the feed cuts. Hiking trail. The camera sweeps around and behind the security checkpoint. There, it moves up along an innocuous trail path nearly hidden in snow. As you move across it, the trail starts to waver under your feet. A signpost floats up to the surface. It reads, Error. Is this any good? Command. The, cam the camera blinks into a room filled with high-tech equipment. Every single screen reads, A strange game in blinking letters. Figures move in the shadows, turning towards you. <laughs> one by one, the screens change to, Error, error, you're an unauthorised user. The alarm blares. And the feed cuts out. Read the error log. Dear user, please be informed this VR headset is designed to be used only in the Cheyenne Mountain Complex. Usage outside of Cheyenne Mountain Complex will activate security measures that may show up as content glitches. Okay. Walk away. Weird. What's this? The Mighty Mitt used high-tech sensors to give ultra-dimensional control to those brave enough to enter the virtual world. Um, it's a Tarzan machine? Inside is glass confinement. I don't like the way the game just saved there. I, this, this has me worried. Tarzan bears his rictus grin to the world. An eye cracked, the other throbbing like a flesh wound. There is a conspicuous red button. Beside it are the words, press here to receive fortune. Press the button. Tarzan remains stoic as you hear a shrill grinding sound. A tiny scrap of paper stamped with irregular writing emerges from a slot. In 20 years, America will be nothing but dust, and its mountains will echo with the screams of a thousand fallen soldiers. Is that the future from the past, which means that what's already been and that is correct, or is that what's going to happen? I don't know. This throne was once coveted by many, as whoever would sit upon it would be king of the wasteland. It's a curious place, is this? I'm more interested for the loot, though, I've got to say. Including the storage unit 105 key. Excellent. We'll have that. And we'll have a dream vacuum. And we'll have a tape. Made it past Telluride today. Found a guy there who sold me some rat jerky. There's a caravan heading for Boulder. And I'm going to try to tag along. Colorado's cold and kind of scary. But... It's a shame that stops it, actually. A lovingly rendered scene of the Scottish Highlands flickens in 16 pixelated colours on the screen of the computer. A polyphonic chorus of beeps forms into a Gallic tune as you read the title of the game. The Bard's Dale 4 Barrows Deep. Can I actually... Can we play this? Let's take a look. You encounter fiendish cultists, solve devious puzzles and compose magical songs, but no one challenge defeats you. Oh, but one challenge defeats you. The game ends with an epithet. You've been killed by 99 berserkers. 
I guess that's you would have to play the Bard's Tale game to get that reference, right? I've never played them, although I have been around the whole time gaming whilst they have been released all the way back since the first one. I, I hear think. the Patriarch himself shops here sometimes. Get your protect. I like the, the skeleton over there. Gwyn Talbot. A reek of tobacco and tannin surrounds this wizened, dark-skinned woman. Without breaking eye contact, she swaps her chewed-down cigarette stub for a fresh one and lights it before she speaks. Ah, you look like tough sorts. Patriarch sent you. Whoever you are, we can certainly use your help. Some kind of beastie down in the Warrens or something. Talk to Flab up the stairs. Okay, let's see your wares. That's why I'm here. This looks interesting. Sell the junk. Um, was that the thing I got? The Megascope... Was that the Megascope sniper rifle? I use his energy cells, though. We don't have enough energy. We'll have to maybe buy some energy cells and just uh, break. Break the bank. This is the game's way of telling you your main character dies from 99 of those. Oh, okay. We shall watch out for berserkers, then. Savage armor, savage helmets. Anything, anything really cool here, though. Hmm. Armor mods. I don't think we play much with armor mods. There's a tank helmet. Kind of like sealing your face inside a titanium safe. Not really. Five percent hit chance. Oh, that's quite good. That that is quite good. Five percent hit chance. That would be really good on um, the heavy machine gun. In fact, on anyone. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy one of them. I might buy that one as well. 5% hit chance. Not to be sniffed at. Some good tactical armor too. We'll try and loot the rest of the stuff. Uh, we'll take a... Oh, hang on. We can sell that. I'm pretty sure we can sell that as well. All right. Let's see what we've got. Clothes. I don't want to buy too much because then it'll leave me short Some for... Serious ass with these. <laughs> Leave my ass out of this. Getting uh, get embarrassed. So, we bought... That's that's not bad either, but like I'll, I'll take 5% hit chance. Thank you very much. So that will be good. That That is that is the thing. Look at that. I, I approve of that one. You could do one as well, but your mechanic skill... I guess... No, I was going to say I can put that on when I need the mechanic skill, but sometimes in a conversation... You only get one chance. You you have to have it, right? When when the conversation comes up. All right, Dark Beast. I'll catch you later. Go and enjoy Shadow of War. No, oh, that that is Shadow of War is the second one, isn't it? Yeah, Shadow of Mordor. They're both good. Both good. You lost a fourth in the epilogue, so your rage quit. Yeah, I did the same and had to get it back. Good game though. I I really enjoyed that. Uh, five percent chance to hit. Everyone else has pretty good hit chance, so... Yep. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to do that, though. Sniper really needs crit chance. You're already pretty good. Hard-ass skill is quite good. What have you got? Speed plus one, armor three. I'll give it to her. Because it's there's, there's no penalties to this, and it's just extra armor. I'll take it off, though, so we can still see who it is. Uh, that also reminds me, we got this sniper rifle. I'm not quite in a position to use it yet. Okay. We do need to see a doctor. I do need to buy some food. Hey, pals. Finn is the name. If you need a drink, you've come to the right place. If you got questions, well, I suppose that's okay too. Did you see that pig explode? Between you and me... I've been partaking in some taste tests during my shift, so everything is a little blurry at the moment. I did hear a loud boom, but I figured it was just a thunderstorm. I'll have a drink. Only the finest drinks on earth. I've not used alcohol much. That's all he sells. Okay, I could actually raise some cash by selling. Um, not used any of these. I'm going to sell these. Is, there, is that all we get? Wow, that is not worth selling. Okay, forget that then. Fill her up, barkeep. I'll tell you when to quit. 
Oh, it was an orc with a no second chance skill. Yeah, that that's brutal. My friends, you saw that explosion too? Horrible! Such a waste of good pork. And human life, of course. But don't worry, Masato is here to offer aid and succor. Have you seen anything this delicious? He holds a steaming hot bowl in front of you, filled to the brim with some kind of noodles. That looks amazing. Maybe <laughs> that's a dangerous thing to ask. I'm going to eat it, though. Yes, yes. Be my guest. After enjoying this bowl, know that my store is open to you. I have a variety of goods that you may find useful. He hands you the bowl, which turns out to be a mix of noodles and pork, which is filling and quite delicious. He watches you eat it with a hopeful grin. Again, the pork. Is it pork? Is it is it human pork? Hmm. A man who never eats pork is never a whole man. But I have to tell you, my friends, these noodles are a pale imitation of the real thing. The great pre-war delicacy. The rarest of rare magics. Instant ramen noodles. I hope one day I will perfect my recipe to recreate them. But enough about me. How can I be of service? We just had a pot noodle. Excellent. So you're looking for instant noodles? Ah, you picked up on my <laughs> subtle hints. Years ago, a friend in Colorado Springs gave me a package of instant ramen noodles that he had found in the Warrens underneath the bazaar. The experience changed my life forever, and I moved here in hopes of finding more. The cook starts to fidget, despair painting his face as he loses his usual buoyant composure. The Warrens aren't safe. I can't venture down there. But you must understand. It is as if my body is made of ramen. Hmm. If you go down in the Warrens, please keep your eyes open for this rare delicacy. I think we're going down in the Warrens, aren't we? I'm pretty sure we don't have any option about that. We're looking for a caravan master. Peridolia Jones is the only caravan master here. But as luck would have it, he's also one of our best. He's right over there. Imagine moving state so you could find one more ramen noodles. I guess if if that's your life, you gotta go. Ranger HQ could use a chef like you. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, how interesting. You mean a permanent position? A full kitchen of my own? My, my friends, that is quite the offer you're making me. You have my interest for sure. Nice. But as I explained to you, I'm here for a reason. Bring me the ramen noodles and I'll gladly join you at your HQ. <laughs> Great, we're going to get everyone apart from the bloody mechanic that we need. Anything you can tell us about the bazaar's residence? There have been a lot of troubles of late. People disappearing, showing up dead. And now this exploding pig! Can you believe that? I've heard of you guys. I know you can help. May I suggest you talk to the guy in charge, Flab? You can find him upstairs. And... Let's see your wares. Naturally. My store is always open to you, my friends. Oh, we do need to stock up on food. We, we definitely do need to stock up on all the food. So, yep. Yeah. This, this is something that we can't do without. I think we get a bit of a discount. What's this? A clown burger. Tastes a little funny. A hobo dog. You can really taste the hobo. Wow, those are expensive. Oh, those are the ones that feed you fully. Okay, that's probably worth it then. A goat horn stew. This delicate delicacy puts the bar in broth. Okay, that's that's actually full food. So I'm gonna. Sorry, I meant to buy all of it. That will save uh, a lot of healing and messing about. These don't heal, do they? No. Dark beast. I think he's gonna end up drinking a lot. We've got beer and stuff. Uh, it's like a. 36 turns. But that's a hell of a penalty afterwards, isn't it? 60 turns. I don't know how long that lasts in real time. It is a slight concern. Okay, didn't have any junk to sell. So nice, we're going to be fed. Hola, amigos! Como estas? Oh, okay, I thought he was going to be a character we had to talk to. I Hot guess not. Noodles. I wish they served chicory here. Ugh, why? It tastes like boiled tree bark. <gasps> Somebody told me they serve lemonade. No Is that way. downstairs? Where would they get That's lemons? That's downstairs. I suggest you speak to Flab. 
Doctor. I suggest you Doctor Cold Cuts can why hello. Doctor Cold Cuts. Lev Hirsch, but you can just call me Dr. Cold Cuts. <laughs> what do you need? I don't know. I, I, I don't think I'd go for treatment to a doctor called Dr. Cold Cuts. Would you? Could you patch us up? Uh, pig, human, <laughs> ain't so different. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cash first and I'll fix you right up. He's a butcher. $25 is fine. Aces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Promise. Aces? Aces. That was the catchphrase of the... Uh, of uh, Malvo from season one of Fargo when he was pretending to be a dentist. It's the only other person I've heard use that. Why is your name Cold Cuts? Do we want to know? Oh, it used to be the veterinarian slash butcher <laughs> here back in the day. Learned all about how the body works by carving up meat. Uh, animal meat, uh, of course. Uh, when Doc Kessler passed, well, I uh, inherited the position. So we've been patched up by a butcher. Excellent. Uh, do you sell medical supplies? Ah, the self-medicating sort. Sure, take a look. Okay. Do we need anything? We could do with... If I click on that. We could probably do with some more of those. How much for 24? Can't afford that. We'll take six. And, and five of them. Because we do use them. And I hope that's enough. I don't want to see this. This money just goes every time I get some. It just disappears. First aid station. Contains enough healing gas for several pulses. The bio accelerant will quickly get any nearby allies back on their feet. Ooh. What's that one? Is that a healing dart? 25% con for three action points. Hmm, I don't know about that. Okay, we're done. Hey, Charlesium. How's it going? Okay, I think we're at the point now. We've seen the doctor. We've got nicely healed up. I think we only have upstairs left to go. We've picked up the quest from down here. Have I equipped all the armor I was going to? Did we look at the other armors? If we got that. Armor 4 with 3% crit. That's a sniper weapon if ever I saw one. Indeed it is. A tactical armor helmet. Nice. And what about these legs? This is armor three. Uh, okay. Okay. We, we don't have anything particularly better there. Actually, this stuff doesn't look all that exciting, does it? I can sell those. Armor six. They are very nice. What have I got? Armor four. Okay. Those are now sellable. I think. I think we're good. Dr. Colcutts, he does have nice music. The whole of the game has some nice music. I, I really like the soundtrack in this. Some are better than others, but the whole lot is just a nice, and the, the theme of it, I, I just love it. I think it's really well done. And it hasn't triggered any YouTube copyright strikes either, which is always a bonus. Right, you're looking pretty good in strength there with this, whatever the hell this is. Uh, what was the one I wanted? Perception? Hit chance? Hit chance is always good. Range damage bonus, not so important. Look for crits, coordination, for action points. Actually, you don't. Actually, oh, that's all right for you. Maybe we should just get the crit chance up or the speed. Speed and evasion there. I think we're gonna go for. I mean, they they 